Hello everyone. Because I'm not going to get to go camping with my grandkids as I'd hoped to, I'm going to make a little tutorial about building a campfire in the backyard, in my daughter's backyard. See the fire pit? That's where I'll build the campfire. Back here in the back of the yard by the woods. Not camping, but it's going to have to do. Well, I'm sitting on the edge of the fire pit. I've got some kindling and little bigger branches and tinder. The really small stuff is tinder. And uh, I learned all this stuff in Boy Scouts a long time ago. But I thought it might be interesting if you want to try camping, say you're backpacking, or you want to even, you know, you don't happen to have any anything to start a fire with, I'll show you the old-fashioned way of doing it. Make a little pile of this little tiny twigs and things. You could make it like a pyramid, fancy. I'm trying to do this one handed because I don't have any equipment. I came down here, you know, you can't bring a lot of stuff on the airplane. I couldn't bring any camping stuff really. No knives. I did, <laughs> it turned out I had a Leatherman tool in my, in my, uh, luggage which I don't know how it got in there I didn't put it in there but there it was with a knife blade they confiscated it and uh, I actually did not realize it was in there so I think it got in there while I was moving stuff at the house you know I'm getting ready to move and uh, I don't know somehow it got in there but so I don't have anything to sh make a fuzz stick and a fuzz stick I just have kitchen knives fuzz stick is a nut is a a twig like this and you make little shavings on the end make it so it looks like a little tiny Christmas tree shave little pieces out and you use it to help start the fire but I'm just gonna use these little twigs then you have the larger stuff that you add as the fire starts to burn but we'll see how it does with this don't have any wooden matches you can't bring those on a plane and uh, I thought my daughter would have more stuff. All I have is a barbecue barbecue lighter. Everybody's got one of these. Some people have a cigarette lighter they could use. Actually, when you're camping, it's pretty good to have a cigarette lighter in case your uh, matches get wet. So you stack all your stuff up and put the little tiny twigs near the bottom. And uh, the smaller the better to get the fire going to start it. And these little tiny twigs. What you do is you light this. Once it gets going, you start feeding in the larger fuel, and then you put the larger. And uh, something else I wanted to show you. I don't have a saw or an axe, and I don't have any tools here. Couldn't find a saw or an axe in the garage. Here's a neat little trick. You're out in the woods, you want to build a campfire. Got a piece of wood, a little too long. You find a tree with a Y, fork in it, and you just, I'm using one hand, you see I got it wedged in there. You crack it off. Now, you got smaller, fire-friendly pieces of wood. Let's see if we can do it with a bigger one. I would ordinarily do this both-handed, but I gotta hold the phone. See? Stick it in there. Sturdy Y fork in a tree will work. Yeah, sure enough, it worked. All that working out pays off. <laughs> See how it goes here. Now yeah, it's starting to go. Sometimes it'll fool you, sometimes it'll go out. See now you can add the larger stuff. You just gotta be careful not to not to knock the whole fire over. Ain't easy doing this one-handed. It's 
So you get the idea. Start out with really tiny little little twigs. Put some really dry leaves in the middle. If you can find some dry leaves, don't use damp ones. They'll just smolder. Can you hear the cicadas going? Thank you for watching my campfire video.